Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Every now and again I get a letter and when I read it I'm just like, oh, this is not going to end well. And I've got one today that I'm afraid is not going to end well. But maybe there's someone out there that can help us with this issue and issues like it. But let me read the letter first. And I've lost the name of the person that wrote it, so I'm not going to attribute it to them. But the letter goes, we recently purchased a John Deere 2040 with a Great Bend 330 front end loader. However, the front end loader wasn't attached, but came with the hardware to mount it. In other words, the loader brackets. We can't for the life of us figure out how to mount this or where the brackets go, or if it is even the correct mounting. Do you have any idea if this front end loader will work on the 2040? And if so, what mounting kit we need for it to make it work? Thank you in advance. Well, let's talk about the issue. Anytime you buy a tractor with a front end loader and it's not mounted on the tractor, you're asking for problems because it's difficult to get mounting brackets for older loaders and older tractors to go together. And I'm going to tell you today about the Great Bend front end loader mess that happened a few years ago. And it's uh, happened with other companies as well. But, but exactly what happened to bring us to this point? Well, back 20 years ago, there were a whole bunch of companies that made front end loaders for tractors. If you had a tractor with no front end loader, you could go to Great Bend, Kansas-based company, or Allied, or Bush Hog, or West Endorf, Quaker. There was a whole bunch of companies that, that had a thriving business in making front end loaders for tractors because most tractors came from the factory at that time without front end loaders. And a lot of times you could buy an aftermarket loader, in other words a loader that didn't have the manufacturer's name on the side of it, a lot cheaper than you could the one that came from the manufacturer. And, and many times you'd get a better loader when you did that. So a lot of dealers, and I was involved in this, would order their tractors in without loaders and then put aftermarket loaders on them. Well, the original equipment manufacturers got enough of that. They didn't want to sell their tractor with somebody else's front end loader. And I think the main reason for this is a lot of times they would finance, like at low rate, the tractor and the loader. And what would happen would be that dealers were not supposed to finance the front end loader at low rate like if the manufacturer had a low rate program, like a 0% for five years to buy the tractor, then the dealers would lump the whole selling price of the tractor and loader together and get the 0% interest program and sell somebody else's loader and the manufacturer's tractor and the manufacturer is paying for the low rate program on the loader. So they didn't like that. It cost them money to sell somebody else's loader. So a decision was made, and I'm not sure who started this, but a decision was made, we'll put a stop to this. And so manufacturers, especially on the smaller tractors, started making it really lucrative for you to buy their brand of front end loader when you bought the tractor. And the way they did this, especially on compact tractors, was offer a free loader when you bought the tractor. Now the loader wasn't actually free. You could get a big rebate by not taking the free loader but most people opted to take the loader. And what that did, that put extreme stress on the aftermarket loader manufacturers. And they started whittling down a little bit. Some of them started going away or getting out of the loader business. So what happened to Great Bend? Great Bend was a Kansas manufacturing company that offered front end loaders for dealers. And they had a dealer network set up all around the country. And a lot of times they would offer incentives for dealers to order mass quantities of front end loaders without mounting brackets on them. In other words, they'd have the main frame of the loader and the buckets and everything, and they would get them in at a discount for freight. And then if they needed to put it on a particular tractor, they would just order the brackets that fit that loader to that tractor. Are you following me so far? So a few years back, Bush Hog bought Great Bend and closed the factory in Kansas and moved all the production to a big state-of-the-art facility that Bush Hog had in Tennessee. And everybody was okay with that, you know. 
The Great Bend guys are like, well, they're moving production, but we still have a source for our loader brackets to put the loaders that we have sitting on our lot on tractors that are running around without front end loaders. Well then, Bush Hog decided to get completely out of the loader business and discontinued all the Great Bend product and all of the traditional Bush Hog product and start offering a loader from Europe called an ALO or a Quickie brand loader. And Quickie is the largest loader company, to my knowledge, in the world. They offer a lot of loaders for original equipment manufacturers. In other words, if you buy a new Holland tractor and it's got a loader on it, a lot of times that came from Quickie. So they're a huge loader company and they're able to spread their cost among large numbers of loaders. But the problem was, if you were a dealer and you had a big quantity of bush hog loaders in stock with no mounting brackets to fit tractors or great bend loaders in stock with no mounting brackets to fit tractors, you were screwed. No way around it. And so there are a lot of mainframe loaders with buckets out there that were kind of orphans. And I'm afraid my viewer in this situation has got that situation. Someone has offered a tractor and a loader with a set of brackets and said that'll all go together and then run away with the money and now they've got to figure out how to get the Great Bend loader on the John Deere tractor with a set of brackets that we don't know what it fits. Now one of the big problems and you can help me if you uh, have been in a dealership or you're in a dealership if you have the price pages for Great Bend that have all the mounting brackets and the numbers that fit Maybe I could help this viewer find the actual mounting kit that made it that 330 loader to the John Deere tractor. If you're out there, email me at mike at asktractormike.com and if you've got a PDF of that, I will help folks that have got this situation. Same thing if you're a bush hog dealer and have old bush hog price pages that you could send to me. Again, it's mike at asktractormike.com. I'll be the guy that helps folks out there that have these loaders without the mounting brackets and we'll see if we can find someone that has got a set of mounting brackets to fit your tractor. And uh, I'll, I'd be glad to do that because uh, it's something that you really need a nationwide effort to find the right mounting brackets for these loaders in order to help these customers out. But if anybody can help my viewer out today, shoot me an email. But I, I say what you're going to have to do with those brackets. Those brackets probably weren't designed for that tractor and the person that sold it to you knew that. And they loaded you up with that and ran off with the money. And now you've got to figure out how to engineer the brackets to put that loader on that tractor. And I'm not saying it can't be done. As somebody with some decent engineering work and some welding skills can make a set of brackets to fit that tractor. But it, it'd be above my capabilities and it's probably going to cost a little bit of money to get that working. But I think that's where you're going to end up. But if anybody out there happens to have a set of brackets to make a GB330 loader with a John Deere 2040 tractor and you want to get rid of them, let me know. But that's one of the quirks of the farm equipment business, these loader manufacturers getting out of the business and the orphan loaders that were left over. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'd be honored really honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm about to hit a hundred thousand viewers. I will probably sometime this year and I'd really like you to help me get there and all you got to do, no salesman will call, no, there's no obligation, is just click the mic face icon and check the bell so you're notified when I post future videos. Here's a link to my website and the Tractor Fun Store with unique items for sale for the tractor owner that helps support my channel and here's another video you might want to watch. Thanks for watching.